this module, we'll discuss passwords, authentication, mimetic passwords, the diceware method for selecting a password, and password managers. So on the internet, you want to protect certain critical information, and the most basic way of doing that is to authenticate yourself using passwords. Passwords should be unique, they should be long, they should be random, and they should be secret. You want to make conscientious decisions about the passwords themselves and about the context in which you use the passwords. So for instance, for your bank account or for your email, you would want to use a particularly strong password. And those types of providers tend to offer what is known as two-factor authentication. If that is available, you'll want to avail yourself of that. So it might entail, for instance, not just entering your password, but also entering a unique and separate PIN and that PIN might possibly be generated anew every time you log in because it is sent to your mobile phone. So passwords are critical to authenticating who you are on the internet. The longer the passwords are, the stronger they are. The challenge is that it becomes difficult to remember passwords, and then if you want to randomize the letters in those passwords to make them difficult to guess, it can become very difficult to remember them. So instead of thinking of a password, think of a pass phrase. I like to ski in winter with my friends. And you might take the first character of each of those words and accumulate them into your passphrase. So the passphrase then is actually quite random, but it is easy for you to remember because of the expression that is associated with it. This particular method is known as mnemonic passwords. How secure a password is, is directly related to how long it is. Another way of trying to create secure passwords is the Diceware method. You can either create your own list or you can download one from the internet, a list of words that are each associated with a number. You then roll the dice to pick randomly words out of that particular list and string together the password from that. This then becomes a random password that is impossible to guess. Now you would either need to lock away that particular password and or the numbers associated with each of the words on that list so that you can actually then recreate the password whenever you log in. So ideally you'll want to use different passwords for different accounts to log in, but that can become even more difficult to remember. And so you can use something known as a password manager to try to remember all those passwords. However, different types of password managers have different levels of security. So you'll want to research them carefully. And some banks will not insure you, for instance, against fraud if you do use a password manager. So you'll want to make sure that the activity is appropriate for your password manager and that for perhaps the most secure activities that you conduct, such as banking, uh, that you don't use a password manager and just retain the password for that activity separately. This concludes our module on identifying yourself. We invite you to check out our other videos on cybersecurity.